Hey guys, it's MJ, the student actuary, and today we're going to be talking about interest rates, which is chapter 3 of CT1. And before we get into these mathematical formulas, let's just take a step back and ask ourselves, what is interest? And I guess the easiest way to answer this is to think of the following scenario. Your friend comes up to you and he says, can I please borrow um, $10? Well, let's not call him a friend. Let's just say it's any random person. Comes up to you and says, can they borrow $10? Uh, and they say they'll repay you um, one week later. Now, you, obviously, you're going to be, if they're just some strange person, you're going to be like, um, well, why should I do that? And you're going to be very hesitant. So what they're going to do is they're going to maybe tempt you by saying, you give me $10 today, and one week later, I'll give you $11 back. And you can see that this comes, you've got a little bit of a situation here. You can either accept, lend the $10, and hopefully the person is trustworthy and repays you back the $11, or you pay the $10 and you never see that money again. And that's kind of where interest rates kick in. Because if, let's say, a big bank said, here, um, lend us $10, we'll pay you $11 next week. You will be very willing to do so. If the bank's got a good reputation, if it's trustworthy, um, you'll be, here's your money, you know it's safe, and you'll get your $11 next week. But if the stranger comes to you and says the same thing, you're going to be less likely to do this deal. But if they say they're going to offer you, say, $15, well, then you start thinking some more. And that's where interest rates come in. How much must the person repay you in order for you to be willing to make the, the loan? And, and that's why what we have with, with interest rates is they very much reflect, they reflect risk. The fact that you may not get your money back. And like we discussed in the previous chapter, they also discuss the time value of money. Because when you lend out that $10, for that whole week, you cannot utilize that $10. And you could have utilized that on buying a coffee, or a very expensive coffee at that. But you could have bought goods with it. You could have invested in the stock market. You could have done a whole bunch of other things with that money. So there's that opportunity cost that you're losing. And there's the risk that you may not get your money back. So in a sense, that is what interests are. Interest rates are the, the rate that people should pay you back for using your money. because And it's calculated by saying, well, what's the, the opportunity cost to you and what's the risk? So interest rates are going to vary a lot depending on the lender, the borrower, the risk appetite, your opportunity cost, and all these various things. And what's also interesting is that interest rates can be calculated at different periods of length. And that's what we're going to be looking here at these formulas. So we, we should be quite familiar with the annual interest rate um, deposit money in the bank and every year they'll pay out a certain amount. Um, that's the effective rate. But you can also earn interest um, monthly um, or you can earn it biannually and what happens here is the more frequently you earn your interest the more it's going to compound. So if I earn let's say 2% every month then annually it's not as simple as going Oh, 2 times 12, that's 24% um, as an annual interest. No, is it going to be more than 24% or less than 24%? Well, because of the fact that it's compounding, it's going to be more than 24%. So in the first month, you get 2% on your money. The next month, you get 2% on your money and that additional interest. The following month, you get another 2% on your initial amount and the interest and that interest on that interest. And so, as you can see, at the end of the year, all those 2% will be worth more than just, say, 24% straight out. And that's what this formula does. It calculates what is the effective rate of interest um, when you take consideration of the time period. 
So, and then this is just the flip of it um, to calculate it that way. And then the formulas for the discount factor are kind of similar, except you've got a minus instead of a plus. Now, as a little challenge in the comment section, um, I will give a star. Oh, no, you can't give stars on YouTube. I'll give a like to whoever can explain why the discount factor uses a minus in the formula and why an interest rate uses a plus. So that will give you guys something to think about. And then finally, I hope we're not jumping too far ahead, but you can also get this thing known as the constant force of interest. And that is where your interest is it's calculated instantaneously, well, every single second. And so you know how you can have your interest annually, you could have it monthly, you could have it um, weekly. This is almost when you start having it daily. Although you can, if the exam says that the interest is calculated weekly, you can approximate by using this formula. And what we're introducing here are just um, integrals. And what's cool about this is that we can now vary our force of interest and actually have a curve. And what's nice about this is we can then capture in the various differences of how interest changes across uh, time. And if you've been watching my CA1 videos, uh, although I doubt you'll be watching CT1 and CA1 at the same time, um, you'll see how this comes in too with the bond curves. But yeah, this is just a very short introduction on interest rates. I don't want to get too bogged down in the mathematics because I think it's important for you to wrestle with it in the course notes. Remember, you can get a whole bunch of stuff from a website called acted.co.uk. So check them out and yeah, study hard. But this is interest rates. It's a very important um, concept that you're going to be using throughout your entire actuarial career. So spend some time thinking about it and getting to grips with, with what it is and what's the meaning behind it. But thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.